Hello, and in this video we're going to be making the top of our carabiner or saddle pin. Uh, to do this, first we're just going to open a new part studio, so I'm going to hit the plus, uh, and then create a part studio. Uh, we're going to create the top piece as a separate part, uh, and that screws into the uh, housing or the middle portion we've already made. Uh, so first I'm just going to start sketch, I'm going to put it on the right like I've done on the past two pieces, and we'll change to our right view. Uh, from there, uh, we'll start with a circle, and we're just going to put it right on the origin. Uh, I'll make my circle, and we measured it to be about 0.525 inches in diameter. So we'll set that as our diameter, hit our green check to accept, change our ISO so you can see what we're doing, and do an extrude. Uh, since we're going to have the threaded, we want to do just an extrude, not a loft or anything like that. I'm going to send it backwards in this case to keep my primary direction. And in this case, we measured it to be about 0.155 inches. I hit our green check to accept, and that gives us our first portion. Uh, next, I'm going to do a new plane. So I'm going to hit plane. Uh, I'm going to change my view just so I can click on the back of this object. And then we want it to be, we measured it to be about 0.2 inches behind. So 0.2 for offset distance. Uh, make sure it's going behind the object, not in front of it. So in this case, it's already preset there, so I'm going to accept that. Uh, then I'm going to do a sketch on that plane. So I'm going to sketch, uh, select plane one, and place it on that plane. If I can zoom in, uh, I'm going to get that plane. Uh, so we want to put it on that plane. I'll just turn to this side, hopefully I can get it. And we want to select plane one. If you have trouble, you can just come over here on the side and select plane one. And on plane one, we're going to sketch a circle that's about 0.3 inches in diameter. Uh, so you hit your center circle point. Uh, you want to make sure you're in the middle, get that box in the middle, or you can change your view to make sure you get the middle. Uh, so if we go like this, you can really make sure you're in the middle. And this time you select it, and we want it to be 0.3 inches. So 0.3, hit enter, and that gives us a smaller diameter circle we're going to get off to. Hit our green check to accept. And again, I'm going to change to an ISO, and this time we're going to loft. Uh, so I'm going to loft from my larger circle to my smaller circle I just sketched. I'm just adding them. Uh, there's no special things I have to go with in here. So hit our green check to accept, and that gives us our first segment of our top piece. Uh, next, we're going to shell this piece. So I'm going to turn to the front side, and then I'm going to hit the shell option. Uh, I'm going to select this face because this is the face I want to hollow out. And then uh, we set our cell to 0.04 like we've done for the rest of this pen. Hit our green check to accept. And that gives us that cell diameter we need. Uh, then we next want to, uh, we could either add our threads or we could uh, put our back piece on. So since I'm already here on this front piece, I'm going to add my threads. And it's just going to go inside this component here. Again, the pitch is going to match everywhere else, 1 over 20 or 0 0.05. And we're just going to leave it as that. We're not going to do any uh, threading or any special threading to it or tapering to it. Uh, hit our green check to accept. And since we extruded it and then locked it, it doesn't go all the way. And that's exactly what we want it to do. Uh, so that gives us our threading. Uh, next, I'm going to zoom out so you can kind of see what we're doing. Next, we want to add in our a new plane. Uh, we're going to do that above the top view. So I'm going to hit top and it's going to go above it. You can go down below either. It doesn't matter which direction you go. Uh, we want to offset that a distance of, uh, we measure the thickness of that back end of our clip where that clip portion goes and we measure that to be 0.3 inches. Uh, so we're going to take that 0.3 and split it in half and do 0.3 divided by 2 or 0.15. Uh, so that sets that distance for that plane. I'll hit our green check to accept, and then we're going to sketch right on that plane too. Uh, we'll go to our top view so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to sketch in that top, that clip portion of our pen. It's uh, in ellipse shape. Uh, so you may have center point circle. You want to drop that down to ellipse. Uh, and we want to start on that origin line. Uh, where you start at on that line doesn't matter as long as it's not a constrained location. Uh, I just want to go on that line and make sure my second point is also on that origin line. Uh, then you you can set your minor axis as well, and I'll set that. Uh, and we want to set these values. So we measured our major axis to be about 1.3 inches, and hit enter, and then our minor axis, the smaller axis, to be 0.75. 
uh, next one. I move on to uh, dimension of that from the edge. So I'm going to hit the dimension tool. I'm going to hit the center of my ellipse and the origin line, which is the base of my top portion. And we measure that to be about 0.975 inches. And that fully constrains his black container or fully constrains our ellipse. Uh, next, we want to add in the inner portion so we ha can have that ellipse with the hole in the middle. Uh, so I'm going to do what's called an offset. I'm going to hit the offset, click on my ellipse, and then take this arrow and drag it inside the object. Uh, once I drag it, I click to accept, and then I can set my offset value. I'm going to measure that thickness to be about 0.15 inches. Hit our green check to accept, and that gives us that ellipse shape. Uh, then we want to extrude, so I'm going to extrude, click inside that ellipse, and we want to extrude at a distance uh, we said earlier, 0.3 inches. Uh, so hit 0.3, enter, uh, if we change our view, we can see it's going up the around direction, so we're going to flip our direction, and hit our green check to accept. Uh, our final thing we're going to do is round off these edges by doing a fillet. So I'm going to fill it. I want to make sure to get my edges, my outer edges, my inner edges, again, my outer and my inner, if I can get it, I'm gonna, just going to flip my view so we make sure to get those inner edges as well. And we'll set that value to 0.03. It's not a big deep fillet. It's just rounding those edges on our pen. It just still has that flat portion to it. So we, when we do that, we hit a green check to accept, and you can see it's rounded, and it's still got those flat portions on it as well. If you want to round it deeper, you can just make that fillet uh, value a little bit bigger. Uh, but that's what we're looking at for uh, your top of your carabiner pen. Hopefully this helps. Uh, finally, we just want to rename it and change the copy. So rename it pen top. That's what I'm going to call it. And then I'm going to right click again, edit appearance, and do the colors to match the rest of my pen. Finally, if you haven't yet, go down to the bottom and change the name of your part as well. Uh, so hopefully this helps you to create your pen top. Uh, thank you and good luck.